had you on his cooking show, and he made you eat bull penis pizza, which I do not think is what friends should do to one another. I cooked penis pizza. Oh, nah. That's out for me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, Bob. What did you think of all that? He made me and Kyle eat, eat uh, you know, the bull's penis or private parts. Can't really taste it. It wasn't tender. No, it wasn't tender, right? Not at all. Oh, it's a penis, of course. What are you expecting? I'm guessing that Kawhi was having a lot more fun around this time last year celebrating his successes with the Toronto Raptors. Although the NBA was put on pause because of the global pandemic, at least he's afforded himself a luxury crib to quarantine in. I got some requests for this house tour so it seemed like it was time to deliver. In this video, we're gonna look at where Kawhi Leonard calls home like the multi-million dollar mansion he treated himself to and more. Kawhi Anthony Leonard, also known as The Claw, is a professional basketball player and four-time all-star in the NBA as we all know. Currently, he's signed to the Los Angeles Clippers as a free agent and of course, over here here in Toronto, we were also sad to see him go. Just to recap, he won an NBA championship back in 2014 with the San Antonio Spurs and stayed with them for seven seasons. Then of course, he was traded to none other than the Toronto Raptors in 2018, eventually leading the team to victory with their first NBA championship ever last year. Believe me, everyone was so grateful. We even had that massive citywide parade to celebrate. <laughs> personal life, Kawhi is notoriously private, but we know that he does have a wife or girlfriend. She just prefers to stay out of the spotlight. And they have at least one child together. Uh, you'll see the things that I like to do other than, you know, just playing basketball, like fishing or going golfing or just hanging out with my daughter, doing something in my day. And if I'm wrong about that, you guys can let me know in the comments. Kawhi's NBA career has earned him quite the success and his current estimated net worth is about $35 million. Not to mention that $103 million contract he signed with the Clippers. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at where Kawhi Leonard calls home and since he's now signed with the Los Angeles Clippers, he moved there as a result. So get ready to see his epic multi-million dollar mansion in LA and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and the likes of Michael Jordan and Travis Scott and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in those comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Prior to the gorgeous California home Kawhi is now living in, let's see where he called home while playing for the San Antonio Spurs all those years. Of course, this house is located in the rolling hills of San Antonio, Texas in the Timberwood Park area and is valued at around 650 k according to Realtor.com, which is a lot humbler than his current luxury abode. However, because a sports superstar lived in this house, it's still listed at 72% more expensive than similar houses in the area. Kawhi's previous home spans 4700 170 square feet and has six beds and 4.5 baths, so it's still quite spacious. Looking at the common areas, there are double height ceilings and tall arched doorways inside, which I'm sure were perfectly suited to the 6'7 basketball player's comfort. The home lies on a green belt and has a fireplace upstairs, a wet bar, and two living rooms. From the photos, we can see that the main living room has a balcony from the second floor overlooking the space. There's a large open concept kitchen, formal dining room, and office. Each of the bedrooms looks spacious and seem to follow a similar design. Flooring throughout the house is a mix of tiling and carpet depending on the room. Kawhi's previous home looks like a classic Texas house that was comfortable and didn't stand out too much from the homes around it.
surrounding property not being huge, it was still surrounded by beautiful green scenery and a stone wall for privacy. It was located in a hillside gated community among other upper middle class houses. His San Antonio home didn't have a giant pool or 10 car garage full of luxury vehicles, but just wait until you see what he upgraded to. It appears that aside from his main mansion, Kauai's most recent real estate purchase was a lavish penthouse at the Ritz Carlton residences right in the heart of Los Angeles. It makes sense he would buy a place here considering this new apartment is directly across the street from the Staples Center where the Clippers normally play. He can basically walk to ball practice. The penthouse cost Kawhi around $6.7 million, but that's peanuts when you consider what he's making with the Clippers. Situated in LA's downtown core, the 4,280 square foot crib features a smart home system controlled by wall mounted iPads, two custom fireplaces, wood floors, glass walls, a steam shower, and more. In Kawhi's Ritz residence, he has three bedrooms and 3.5 baths, and of course, the master suite is nothing short of impressive. The floor to ceiling windows that grace the entire apartment are also in his room, so he can see the whole LA city skyline. Not to mention, he has a separate seating area, and the master bathroom is super spacious and decked out in marble. Kawhi's living room is open concept with an area for some music entertainment, TV time, a mini storage compartment and more. Another section of the common space offers a billiards and foosball table. There's also a chef's kitchen with breakfast area, dining room and additional private office. The penthouse was purchased through an LLC managed by his uncle Dennis Robertson as reported by the Times, but we know it's all for Kawhi. The Ritz building itself provides him access to features like a fancy rooftop suit swimming pool, full fitness center, valet parking, and of course, concierge services. Kawaii also scored a pair of underground parking spaces with his condo purchase. If he needs to borrow some eggs or something, he can turn to some neighboring NBA alumni like ex-executive Jim Buss down the street and former point guard Lonzo Ball living in the same building. Now for the home where Kawaii is most likely spending his quarantine, his main mansion in Rancho Santa Fe. He scored this place early 2019 or so and dropped a whopping 13.3 million on it, but the home is massive, so I'm not surprised. Kawhi's mansion was described as a Tuscan style estate located in an upscale neighborhood called Rancho Santa Fe. This affluent community is located in San Diego, which can be considered a homecoming of sorts for Kawhi, who played two seasons of college basketball at San Diego State. His estate sits on over five acres of land, and the home itself has been extensively renovated and upgraded for modern living. Spanning 13,000 square feet inside, his house is absolutely massive and offers seven bedroom suites and 10.5 bathrooms. Kawhi's custom master suite has not one but two dressing rooms and a spa style attached bath fit for a king. I love the design inside of this home because it's super classy. There are a lot of wood accents like some of the ceilings and doors and even the floor in the kitchen. Those dark features are complemented with many bright white walls, floor to ceiling windows in most of the common rooms and high vaulted ceilings. There are multiple rooms in the mansion to hang out and relax like the living and family areas and the spacious gourmet kitchen. Not to mention a dining room with full views out to the pool and yard and a more formal seating room that looks as if Kawhi could hold meetings in it. He also has two offices where he can get some quiet time. If all that isn't enough, the home offers a full home theater with plush oversized lounger seats perfect to relax for date night. Other amenities Kawhi has in his mansion include a full workout facility and dry bar and a temperature controlled wine vault in the tasting and bar room surrounded by a steel frame glass wall. Finally, the grounds outside may just be the most impressive part of Kwai's mansion. The yard centers around a multi-section pool complete with a raised spa, waterfall features, and Baja decks. It looks like something out of a five-star resort, I love it. Also outdoors, he has various patios to lounge, covered cabana, a tennis and sports court, and areas to dine outside and entertain. Not to mention, fruit orchards and grassy lawns fill out the rest of the property. So now we've looked at Kawhi's homes, including his mega mansion Rancho Santa Fe, where he spends his downtime, his downtown LA penthouse for when he's working, and more. What did you guys think of the NBA superstars real estate? Okay guys, now read out a few comments from previous videos. On our updated Kylie Jenner house tour we just did, Shez Girl Rose said, I love it, it looks so so spacious and airy. Well done, Kara. Thank you so much, and I really like her new mansion as well. Perfect way to describe it. She's a lucky girl. And on our Jennifer Aniston house tour, Crystal Vickers wrote, Aw, she has a white German shepherd. I have two dogs too, but they're a little on the smaller side. Gotta love the pups though. I also got some comments requesting a house tour for Selena Gomez's new mansion, and I think I might just do an updated one for her soon. The new home looks beautiful. Alright, guys, that's all I got on the legendary Kawhi Leonard's properties, like his gorgeous 
Avengers San Diego Mansion and more. I love his main home the most, something about that resort style pool and all the interior decoration is so my style. Anyways, I want to hear from you guys. What did you guys think about the mansion and penthouse? Did you like them or no? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!